everybody. Welcome back. It is time to decide if people are the a-hole or not. Goody. All rise for the honorable judge challenge. Court is in session. You may be seated or stand or sit on the toilet, whatever you are doing while you're watching this video. Woman asks if she's in the wrong for shaming her best friend for marrying for love. Um... Okay, let's trust the process, guys. <laughs> I, 27 female, am in a very stable relationship with my fiance, 29 female, for around four years. And we are planning to get engaged eventually and then marry. My fiance, planning to get engaged. Uh? My best friend Chrissy, fake name, and also 27 female, has been with her own fiance since they were 20. They've only got engaged this year, and it was kind of weird how it took him so long to propose since he seemed to be financially stable and all. Throughout the years, I asked Chrissy why her fiance hadn't proposed yet, and she kept insisting it was not the right time, but she'd never say the reason why, and the, just that it wasn't the right time. Eventually, he proposed in the beginning of 2022, and they're planning their wedding for next year. They decided to plan their engagement party during summertime because due to busy schedules, they couldn't do it earlier. So their engagement party was this past Saturday and her fiance made a speech dedicated to her and mentioned pretty much the reasons they didn't get engaged sooner and I couldn't help but pity my friend. So the reasons were that he didn't have a stable job for the first few years of their relationship and only jumped from position to position from Walmart to Target etc. He hadn't finished his degree yet so he had no higher education. He got his degree in 2019 and only then was he able to get a proper job. He bragged but also thanked Chrissy for never giving up on him and growing with him and how they helped each other form their amazing personalities and achievements and no matter what what the future holds he'll never forget. My fiance and I felt some type of way about it. Some friends of mine and Chrissy agreed how Chrissy basically stayed with a broke man and waited for seven years and we don't think that's something praiseworthy but pity worthy. Uh? As friends, we decided to explain to her our perspective of how we think it was ridiculous that she had to reach 30 to move on with her life with a man when someone else could provide what she needed much sooner. Okay, but... No provide what she needed in what way? Like what kind of providing are you talking about? Because if you're talking about love, that kind of rare. Chrissy has always said how she wanted marriage and kids and it's sad she had to wait so long for this man to get his act together and she didn't know her worth. Or maybe she just loved him? And I would agree with you if he still hadn't proposed to her but he did. She said she loves him and he's an amazing partner and wouldn't break up with him over his misfortunes. And what matters is that they love each other. I told her it's dumb how she's marrying for love and not stability and how she's basically wasted herself for love and how the first issue should be raised when he was working at Walmart and Target back to back. She calls us all materialistic and classist and she says she doesn't care if she struggles financially as long as she struggles with the right person who will value her emotions and listen to her. She said we are miserable B, -B words <laughs> We will find no happiness in life and are very shallow. Could we be the a-holes for criticizing her this way? I think there's a strong possibility. Yes, very strong. Seriously? But let's see what Reddit had to say. This thread is now locked due to an excess of rule violations. Oh, noted. Reread your last paragraph. Chrissy nailed it. You're the a-hole. OP is also pretty dumb, seeing how she's also wasting herself for love by being with her significant other, not fiance, since technically they're not engaged for four years with no real end in sight. Oh, there's the kicker, ain't it? Don't throw stones at a glass house. TikTok OP or you'll end up like poor Chrissy in three years. Oh, those spinsters waiting around. Couldn't be me, couldn't be me. Oh wait. OP already proves she's unable to have any introspection, to be honest. Her first paragraph is hilarious considering the context. Her and her so-called fiance aren't even engaged yet. Chrissy is not only actually engaged, but has their wedding planned already. And Chrissy is the one who's waiting too long to get married. I mean, how dense do you have to be to refer to your boyfriend as your fiance when you're not even engaged? I'm baffled that OP had even had to think twice about whether she was the a-hole. I think there's something going on here. It's a little thing I like to call projection. You know, when you project your problems and insecurities onto other people. If you want to marry for love, marry for love. If you want to marry for security, marry for security, but don't judge others for what they want based on what you want. It's none of your business. Just be happy for your friend, if that's what you can call her. You are the a-hole. We're not finished yet. Am I the a-hole for calling out my sister for breastfeeding at my wedding? I already hate you. <laughs> 
I literally don't like you already. My sister gave birth two months ago. She brought the baby to mine and my wife's wedding. She breastfeeds wherever she goes. We visit her house. She'll breastfeed in front of us. Visiting our parents, she'll breastfeed. Going out into a public setting, she'll sit on a bench on the park and breastfeed. Go out to a restaurant, she breastfeeds everywhere. I've never spoken on it because I know she'll get mad and offended. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But when she did that on my wedding, I lost my cool. See, the thing about babies is they get hungry. It's not about bringing your boobies out for everybody to look at. It's about feeding your child and let's maybe stop sexualizing that experience. During the reception dinner, she just did it again. I kindly approached her and asked her why she didn't bring a formula or at least bump milk out and put it in a bottle so she wouldn't have to do it at that moment. She said, because I don't have to. I feel comfortable breastfeeding, as we all should, okay? Getting milk out on my own is more painful. I said she could just make this sacrifice and compromise for one day instead of doing this in front of 250 guests on my wedding. She said she can't do much about it now because the baby has to have her milk. I told her she should be more thoughtful of that then instead of completely embarrassing herself and us by doing this. The only person embarrassing themselves is you, my friend. I told my wife what the deal was and she said I'm an a-hole and should immediately apologize to my sister. You married a good one. My parents also sided with my sister and now pretty much everyone thinks I'm an a-hole since I'm the only person who has a problem with it. The only reason I decided to call her out is because I considered it bad etiquette and tacky to do that at a formal event and that she could just find another solution for that night. Am I the a-hole? Yeah. How about you stop sexualizing your sister and thinking that it's inappropriate for her to feed her kid? Get out of here with this nonsense. This thread is now locked due to an excess of rule violations. <laughs> You're the a-hole. Your sister deserves a hug and a thank you for making the effort to attend a wedding with a two month old. You're the a-hole. I'm assuming you fed your guests. That includes your nephew. Did the guests at least eat with blankets over their heads or maybe they should just take plates to the bathroom? Stop sexualizing your sister's breasts, dude. Why you gotta make everything weird? Exactly. Why is it weird? I don't get it. It's not weird at all. You know, I see someone breastfeeding in public. I'm like, oh, that's a boob. <laughs> that's a boob. It's just a boob. Realistically, breasts are not for you. Those exist to feed children. All right, that's enough. You're the a-hole. Just stop making it weird. Everybody, stop making it so weird. Who cares? If you find breastfeeding offensive, I think that that's kind of a you problem. Woman asks if she was wrong to make a wedding gift instead of buying one off the registry. Interesting. I, 34 female, have a friend who's getting married next month. A year ago after the wedding was announced, the bride pulled me aside and showed me a pattern for a Corinthians 13 stitch cross sampler. She said she wanted me to do to commemorate the wedding. I agreed, despite knowing it would be a lot of work and I would have to add to the pattern because it didn't have an area to put a date on it, which she wanted. Cut to now and it's finished. It's framed, it is 15 by 25 and I'm glad I never have to look at this thing under a headlamp again. Bride contacts me tonight and says that she noticed I haven't bought anything off the registry yet. Shut up. Because she knows I'm very low income, I should hurry and get a gift before all the affordable ones are taken. I told her I wasn't getting her anything off the registry, that before framing, the cost for materials and cross stitch was around $75, and the framing was well over that, and I can't afford to buy her anything else off of her registry. The entitlement of these people! Bride then said that as a guest, I'm required to bring a gift. I said I am bringing her a gift and one that I worked very hard on, on linen with silk threads that she requested. She said that it didn't count because she asked me to do it. I said that registries are basically the same thing, asking for specific things you want. And she called me an a-hole and hung up. So am I the a-hole for not buying a wedding gift from the registry? What? Oh, hell no. Hell no! Not the a-hole, that is some next level entitlement. Firstly, nobody is truly obligated to bring you a gift. It's a nice gesture, sure, but you invite people to your wedding because you want them to celebrate with you, not as a cash grab. Say it louder for the people in the back! Secondly, unless the bride covered all of the costs for materials and also compensated OP for their time put into this project, this is probably the most heartfelt gift she's going to receive. OP's not the a-hole, bride is being ridiculous. You should never contact somebody to ask them why they haven't bought something off of your wedding registry. That is so tacky. It is, it really is. Hi, I noticed that you haven't bought me anything yet. Were you like planning to do that or? 
It's tacky even without her making this very heartfelt gift. Like it would already be tasteless if there was no like made gift involved. But the fact that this friend took time out of her life to make this gift for this bride, and on top of that she wants another gift is like, you especially don't contact somebody and say, hey, I know you're poor, so you better hurry up and grab one of the cheap gifts. And especially, especially at not after they put in so many hours on needlework. Whether or not the bride requested that needlework needed to be done, the crafter deserves recognition for the time, energy, and resources that she put into this item. That is the gift. Bride is way out of line. I would not be calling the bride my friend after this interaction. That's what's up. Not the a-hole. You need to drop this friend immediately for two reasons. First, the stitch sampler you made her should be the only gift she wants from you. Second, she knows you're on a fixed income, so she shouldn't be signaling to you to buy anything off of her registry. She called herself doing you a favor by letting you know that the affordable items on the registry are quickly running out. But what she was really saying was that your financial situation won't be an excuse for not buying something for her registry. She's inconsiderate and entitled. That settles it. You are not the a-hole and seriously reconsider that friendship. Subscribe!